When it's all finished, the Great Headwaters Trails will connect Conover to Phelps, and we're joined now by Brian Blank and Raleigh Alger, who are here to Rolly Alger, who are here to tell us a little bit more about the progress of the tra the trails and where it's at right now. So, uh, tell me, what what do you guys like so much about this the trails and and where is the trail at right now? The trail right now is connecting the Conover Park and the first three miles of segment have been completely built. We celebrated a ribbon cutting around Memorial Day, so that part of the trail heading toward uh, Phelps East uh, is done. The thing that I like best about the trail is being out in nature. Uh, it's an enjoyable trail. It's on a, a, an old railroad bed that takes you through all kinds of woods, headwaters of the Wisconsin River. Uh, you'll see a lot of nature, and it's a safe place for families to, to be able one day to come between the two communities and, and come to Phelps and actually to the, the lakeshore behind us. And Rolly, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the length of the trail and what it looks like for people who have never been on it before? The uh, final length of the trail will be about 11 miles. The uh, second segment is about five and a half miles, and the third segment is about 2.3 miles. And as Brian said, it's really a beautiful trail. That's what I like about it too. Um, on the first segment, which is done, there's beautiful bog flowers in the, in the spring. And when you get into segment two, it's upland forest, lots of woods. Uh, it's a totally different type of a, an environment when you get into the second segment. It's really beautiful. And and why was there a need or a want to have a trail that connected Conover to Phelps and have this Conover Phelps trail? I think that what you're seeing is a small part of the big picture in Vilas County. In Vilas County, we have trails right now in the western part that have been developed trails in a lot of the communities. And those communities have benefited economically uh, through tourists and families that are coming. And what this will one day be is a completion of uh, a circular trail of up to 100 miles of trails plus. Uh, so we're working on the eastern side now of Vilas County. And as I, I joke in our committees, it's connecting two ice cream stores now from the, the, the western part in Conover to the eastern part here in Phelps. Well, what more could you need? And uh, can you tell me how many people have used the trail now since it opened uh, back in May? Our guess would be at, at least hundreds of people have, have been able to take the, the first three miles uh, either by riding or biking. Um, as time goes on, we'll, we'll have a connection, as Rolly mentioned, on the second segment when that's complete. And right now, that's about 60% funded. So we're getting closer, and next spring, we're hoping to, to complete that so that people can actually come out to Song Hill Road and Highway K, and uh, that would be the end of, the, of segment two. And that was my next question was, uh, what is the next step here uh, for the trails? The next step is to complete segment number two. We're hoping to be able to get that done next summer uh, if we get donations and funding for that. And uh, the engineering is all done. We've got the permits from the DNR. We're all set to go. So we're just uh, waiting for donations and good weather. And if people wanted to maybe help you guys out in any way, how can they go about doing that? And what kind of help do you need? The biggest need we have right now is donations and people can come and offer services but it's really the donations that we're in need of and they can do that by going to our website which is ghtrails.org and there's a place there to see uh, uh, how to do the donation as well as I would encourage people to look at a lot of information there and some videos that were done uh, on the segments filmed on site uh, some of the things that had actually happened in the ribbon cutting as well uh, last summer, we had a, a video done by uh, Mark Rose and the people from Discover Wisconsin that uh, is, is available and people should enjoy. And you heard it here where you can find more information. We have a link to that on our website, wjfw.com, and we'll be right back after this.